with the cost of living rising, the cost of both transportation and tuition increasing, public services being cut, and minimum wage remaining forever the same, people's ability to sustain their families and progress economically is under attack due to governmental negligence. That's why, throughout the five boroughs, tenant organizers, housing activists, and concerned New Yorkers packed public hearings held by the Rent Guidelines Board. My daughter needs to go to school. I'm still head of household, and we do not need another rent increase because right. my daughter needs to go to college. That is no option, okay, so that she can have a better life for herself. I'm trying to make a better life for herself. I'm trying to do that for her. And that's one thing. The cost of living is ridiculous in New York, and by the rent going up, the trains go up, the, the car Edison goes up, my lights went out. Three times because I had to pay my freaking rent. Because I want to keep a roof over my head. Members of GASA and other housing rights organizations advocated for a rent freeze. Some even demanded a rent reduction in the face of decreasing homelessness and unemployment. If you change schools twice in one year, that's like losing a whole year of school. And this is why when you look at students who are in transitional housing, they are eight to nine times more likely to be held back in their years. Twenty percent of children who are living in shelters in New York have been held back, right? And as the housing crisis has escalated, more and more of these students are in fewer schools. They are in the districts that have the lowest achievement. They are in the schools that are priority and focused and don't have the knowledge or resources to support these families and these students. They're struggling just to get their test scores up, let alone to help families deal with the kind of crisis they're facing. A lot of times you had a few tenants speak about the garbage outside the, the building. These are conditions that are caused by, by tenants a lot of times because the garbage is, the garbage is not put inside the containers or properly uh, Recycling is not properly done. And summons is an issue. Summonses are not cheap anymore. HPD violations are not cheap anymore. Permits are not cheap anymore. These buildings are over 80 years, 100, 100 plus years old, and they need money. For those of us who do not know, here's the thing with rent stabilization. New York City rent stabilization law covers approximately 1 million apartments, which makes up about half of the apartments for rent in New York City. To qualify, a tenant must live in an apartment of 6 units or more, or an apartment that was built before January 1st, 1974, or even in a newer building that went into rent stabilization because the landlord received a tax break. It took me four paychecks to pay my rent, because my rent be a thousand and three dollars. So it's a thousand and three dollars, and I'm paying four paychecks to pay that. So that makes sense. What am I working for? If y'all people don't look at us as humans and said, I know it's not, because my mother are getting richer and we're getting poor. Y'all can call us middle class and poor and all. They don't say they don't middle class. And, middle class. Okay. and right now, we're poorer than ever. In June 2014, June, orange t-shirts sure stormed the entrance of the Rent Guidelines, Guidelines, Guidelines Board, Board public Casa hearing. Members, Casa members and other residents were held were back by the NYPD, by the NYPD were who were only letting in 10 time. people at a time. You guys, there's a hundred tenants outside and you're not letting them in. And our executive director has gone to talk to all the police. We will try and get everyone in here. We will stay here until we've heard every single person who wants to testify. Landlords, 
that will do anything to force tenants out of their homes. I say homes because these are not just apartments, these are our homes. Advocates' push for New York City rent freeze was rejected on June 23, 2014, when the nine-member board voted 4-5, to five, resulting in 1% rent increases for one-year leases and nearly 3% for two-year leases. Although we did not get a rent freeze this year, both the mayors and advocates alike are celebrating a historically low rent freeze. New York City rent stabilization laws will be revisited in 2015, so make sure you know your rights as a tenant and stay active in protecting and strengthening rent stabilization in New York City. With the cost of living rising, the cost of boat transportation and tuition increasing, public services being cut, a minimum wage remaining forever the same, people's ability to sustain their families and progress economically is under attack due to governmental negligence.